Hey everyone, welcome back to CSCS Time Attack. Here we are at round one at Mossport DDT, which is a track I haven't been at since 2019. But here I am, pitted beside one of my good friends Latch with his K24 swapped Civic EG, hoping to set another good lap as he was out at TMP a few weeks ago and was able to set his personal best. Also here, we've got a time attack record holder, a time attack champion, the king of front wheel drive, Will Al Young, looking to set the fastest lap of the day. We've also got a lot of people who've been here many times, time attack champions, time attack veterans, and also some new faces, which is always good. Everyone has just been waiting to get on track. As for me, this is my first time out for the year, and in the car, it feels amazing. There's no vibration, there's no transmission issue, there's nothing happening that should stop me from doing better than I did last year. The car felt so great that even at a track where I'm not experienced at, I've only been here once before, I was still able to put down some pretty decent lap times through the first set of qualifying. I'm able to also throw this car into corners a bit more than I usually do. It's kind of a good feeling that we may take for granted sometimes, just having a reliable car. And of course, whenever Time Attack guys are taking a break, the drifters come out to play. It's always great to watch them do their thing. And also this show and shine going on all the time. You can also check out this beautifully built Integra. I was actually done by one of my close friends. I'm happy for him, the Integra looks amazing. You can also check out the CSCS two-step battle, which is usually at every show and shine event. Of course, if you're into this thing, you should come out and try your car. But for me, show and stance aren't really my taste. Back to time attack. Here we are with the street front wheel drive winner of the day, Jared and his Civic Type R. Throughout the day, he was already setting qualifying laps that no one can beat. And in the finals, he still performed just as great as he did and was able to win street front wheel drive. As for me, like I said, I'm not experienced at this track, so I was just out there having fun. This is making me look forward to round two a bit more. And of course, this car is not a stranger to Time Attack. Shay and the Toge Tuning Civic has a few surprises as well. And my good friend Alex is always on full send doing great from last year. He's been in time attack just as long as I have. Joe's back with the Lamborghini, and the new livery, and all his toys always come out to time attack. As for me, I was able to set a good qualifying lap, good enough to make it into the finals. Although the four cars I was up against were way ahead of me. I believe third and fourth place were both 137. So with me doing a 141, I was not too optimistic about getting four seconds faster or getting any type of podium. It was more or less me completing the event, completing the qualifying, completing the finals, and then bringing the car home all set for the next event. I was also able to pick up my third place in the CSCS championship for street front wheel drive. Like I said, with the way the car feels, I'm looking forward to round two and I'll see you guys there. Thanks.
gotta flip the switch and you can go and obtain anything you want, anything you need. Your mind's got the key ingredient, it's belief. Better see what the negativity.